Good afternoon, morning, evening vapors. Uh, today I'm going to go over the uh, building the Orchid V2. Okay, and I'll just go over a few things that the uh, comes in the box. Comes with a very nice uh, assortment of spare O-rings, uh, set screws, and a screwdriver, and an Allen wrench. Okay, uh, looks to be a length of uh, 30 gauge Cantal wire and quite a few inches of uh, silica. Looks to be maybe 2 millimeter silica. Alright, and that's what came in the box. It's a uh, tobacco brand uh, clone of the Orchid V2. Alright. Now we have the atomizer itself, and I'll go over, I'll take it apart. Uh, first we want to take the top off. This is uh, very similar to uh, the K-Fun. It's got an O-ring on the top uh, chimney tube. It doesn't uh, thread on, much like the... Uh, uh, well, oh, the fogger, okay, uh, and here's a little tip, sometimes it's very hard to get the, uh, the plastic tank off of the base, so if you run into that problem, rather than take a pair of pliers and try to grip it around here and scratch up the surface and all that, uh, just take your little Allen wrench that you got with your kit, Stick it in the, uh, the air hole, like so, and just give it a, a twist. And that will, uh, it'll break loose very easily, and uh, you can take that tank off. Okay, and undo this chimney. Chimney. Undo that. Okay, let's take a look at the building deck. This, uh... This is a pretty awesome building deck, I think. Uh, for one, uh, you can run very low ohms on this uh, particular build, uh, or on this deck. Uh, the insulators, uh, the design of it uh, is actually made uh, for a uh, lower resistance coils if you choose to uh, build that way with it. Okay, you see that uh, the positive block has uh, two holes in it, okay, and the two negative posts on either side of that. And as you can see, uh, with the plume veil, which this design came from the originators or the original designers of the plume veil, it's basically the same type of setup uh, for that uh, and the Helios. Uh, if you're familiar with that RDA, that has a basic uh, a similarity to this type of uh, platform as far as the post and the post holes go. Okay, you have your upper or your lower deck, I'm sorry. Uh, and you have your airflow that comes up much like the aqua and the uh, fogger. Uh, it comes up on, on either side what your coil will be sitting here and on the other side so your airflow will come through these holes and up and around or uh, by your coils that you have installed it has four juice channels okay so that should uh, eliminate uh, a lot of the problems with dry hits okay there again with this type of uh, design you you have to be very mindful of the amount of cotton that you have in your your juice channels uh, they have to be uh, not too dense or it'll it will restrict the flow of juice okay and also this has a bottom fill uh, port with a screw in it right here okay uh, and a brass contact for the center pin all right and uh, with all that 
said, I will go ahead and uh, start building this build. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to shoot for about uh, somewhere approximately about one ohm uh, resistance on my build. Okay, I don't want to go too low. Uh, I might make it slightly under one ohm. So I think what I'm going to do, as usual, I'm going to be using an eighth inch bit, uh, 28 gauge canthaw, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to wrap. Uh, let's take a wild guess. I want to come out to about a point eight. So I'm going to wrap. Uh, two coils with eight wraps around the drill bit and that should uh, give me pretty close to a 0.8 build okay so let me get started here alright so we got one two three four Five, six, seven, eight. And uh, rather than go for my normal 0.6 build, actually I'll be running this on uh, a regulated box mod. And with the box mods, the high wattage box mods, I like to uh, make a little bit larger coil or I'll say longer coil, uh, a coil with more wraps uh, to give myself uh, more surface area for the juice to uh, be vaporized. Uh, it seems that it helps in vapor production as well as in flavor. So there we have uh, one coil. Alright. And I use uh, two drill bits uh, because of the same size because it helps to position, it helps with positioning the coils, holding the coils where you want them while you tighten up on the uh, set screws for the, for the legs. Okay. So I've got my other piece of canthal here. I'm going to go for eight wraps with this one as well. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And as usual, I, uh, I like to leave one, one of the legs a little bit longer than the other because it, uh, it helps when you're uh, trying to get the legs, the wire started through the holes. Having one a little bit longer than the other just makes it a little easier. So, stick one leg through the positive, one leg through the negative. Okay. Now one thing I think they could change on this that would uh, that would help considerably is rather than use the set screws if they would have used uh, regular Phillips head screws to put in there. And I understand why they didn't. Uh, for the two middle holes uh, I don't think there would be enough room with the distance between the holes to for the screw heads for both screws to fit it on there, but uh, I, I feel that the uh, the Phillips head screws work a little bit better. They're a little easier to uh, to work with. So 
I'm going to position this coil as close as I can to the center of the, uh, the atomizer deck. All right, and I'm going to adjust it a little later, but I just want to get it basically in the position that I want it to uh, end up in. So I'm going to tighten both down. All right. And being the, uh, the having the design that it does, um, I'll be able to uh, snip off the excess of my legs uh, before having to uh, install the second coil, which makes it uh, a little easier sometimes to get this excess out of the way okay. alright so I've got one coil installed I'll take out my drill bit for the time being okay now I've got my other coil all ready to go and uh, Actually, I'm going to move this coil that I just installed. I'm going to pull it up just a little bit to be out of the way of my uh, other coil leg when I slide it through the hole so it doesn't uh, stick through the coil. Okay, there we go. Now, I'll position this one as close to the same position as I had on my other one. And uh, As you can see, if you've watched any of my other videos, this is uh, a pretty straightforward build. Uh, the, the design of the uh, post and the post holes and everything really really make it uh, a lot easier to build on without a lot of hassle. So I'm going to snip off the excess of my lay excess. Okay. Take a look, see what I got going on here. Okay, I need to move the coils over a little bit. If you can take a look at that, if it's in focus, I can't tell whether or not it is. Okay. So that didn't take much time at all to, to uh, wrap those coils and install them. Now let's see what kind of ohm reading we're going to get on this. Again, uh, what I was shooting for was a uh, about a 0.8 build, something just a little bit lower than 1 ohm. So let's see what we have here. And it looks like we have a 0.8. Okay, so 0.8 build. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, uh, so my coils were spaced out just a little bit. So I'm going to install the atomizer on a mod, pulse the coils and squeeze them with some tweezers to uh,
to compress them a little bit more I'm going to turn up my wattage I'll try about 26 watts so I'm going to go ahead and uh, heat them up Okay, I'm going to squeeze these together, hold them for just a minute or a second or two while it cools off, release it, and you want both coils heating up, heating up evenly, and you want them heating up or starting to glow from the inside out. Okay. So, I just want to get them compressed right now. And usually you'll have to uh, heat them up and compress them a, a few times to get them uh, tightly compressed like... Uh, they should be with cotton. Uh, this is what they call a micro coil. So, like I say, I have to heat them up a few times. And as you can see, one of the coils is glowing a little bit sooner than the other coils, or the other coil. Uh, so I'm going to have to do a little adjustment with that after I get them compressed. So I've got the coils compressed. Now I'm going to work on uh, getting them to glow evenly and at the same time. So I'll make sure my screws are set screws are tight. There we go. Now, let me just adjust the position of this coil just a little bit. All right, that looks pretty good. Uh, the coils are basically symmetrical as far as uh, their position on the building deck in relation to the uh, air holes. Okay, so I'm going to take this back off of the mod for the time being. I'm going to reinstall it onto my own meter to give me a, uh, a stable building base uh, I'd use the mod but it's a little tends to be a little top heavy and will fall over so I don't want that to happen okay so I've got uh, got the coils installed next I'm going to install the wicks and 
as you can see I'm going to be using uh, some Japanese cotton Japanese cotton comes uh, this particular type comes in a square pad uh, what I like about the Japanese cotton is that uh, in the uh, processing uh, in its processing to make those pads all the all the fibers run in the same direction and I feel that that uh, that helps with uh, the wicking properties of the cotton uh, whereas uh, standard say a uh, cotton ball or whatever you pull unwrap it pull it apart whatever and your fibers are all tangled up uh, bunched up or whatever and I think that uh, contributes to uh, the restriction of the juice flowing to the coil uh, whereas this Japanese cotton all the fibers are running the same way so there's less resistance to the uh, juice flow so uh, and so when you get a, a new pad of cotton and this is this is what the cotton looks like in these square pads okay I've cut a uh, a piece off of the pads and you want to cut it with the grain All right. so actually I'm going to cut this in two uh, I think also this cotton lasts longer uh, it's been my experience that it has anyway uh, it wicks better uh, I really hadn't noticed any uh, bad flavor uh, I, I just like it better than the regular cotton balls and this is organic cotton uh, it's non-bleached organic okay uh, so this is pretty thick this is pretty thick cotton to uh, put through that coil so what I'm going to do is peel off a little bit of this uh, a layer or so of the cotton and to start with I'm just going to take this very top layer and peel that off okay and okay I think the uh, the density this is about the right density that I want going through the coils so I'm going to take uh, one end and give it a twist and this is to be able to start thread that end of the cotton through the coil okay so I'm going to thread it on through here and you want it uh, you want it pretty pretty snug around the coils but not so snug that uh, if you pull it to and fro that it'll bunch up on either end but you do want a uh, good contact all the way around the coil uh, so that it wicks properly okay that's one side I've got done okay now I'm going to spin this around, do the other side. All right. We got that done. Okay, now when we put uh Put this cotton into the juice channels we just want it to run down the channel to the bottom of the channel we don't want it coming out of the uh, in the horizontal part of the, uh, the channel you just want it running down the vertical channel to the bottom and that's all uh, and you'll want we're gonna have to trim up this cotton so that it's not uh, 
it, uh, as it is right now, it would be too much cotton to put into these uh, channels. And when you go to put your chimney on uh, over top of this and screw it on, uh, it's highly, it's very likely that it's uh, it would be too much cotton, and it would uh, get in the threads of uh, the chimney and the uh, the base, and it would start to as you screwed it on, threaded it on, it would uh, pull the cotton and mess up your wicking. So, what I usually do is I will trim the cotton up because really I want to leave the same amount of cotton going through the coil as it is right now I just want to thin out the cotton that I have running through my channels to ensure that it, uh, it wicks properly so I'm going to thin some of this out And also, before I before I start whittling too much on here, I'm going to uh, go ahead and uh, saturate the cotton to make it a little easier to uh, to get it wicked. And what I'm going to be filling it up with is Green Man E Juice Ridiculicious. Uh, it's a 50 PG, 50 VG. Uh, however, you could get uh, different ratios if you order it uh, online, 6 milligrams. And it's really pretty good tasting juice. It's been steeping for a while. That's, uh, that's why it's the dark color that it is. Okay, so I'm going to saturate my wicks and uh, when you saturate the wick like this it uh, it helps when you you're putting it into the installing it into the channels because uh, the cotton will kind of stick in the channel just makes it a little easier to work with. Okay. Got that, got that good and saturated. Alright. Now, I'll take a little screwdriver or toothpick or something like that. Now just tuck, tuck the cotton, get stuff as much of it as, uh, as I can into the little juice channel. Okay, and then I will uh, trim the excess off. Okay. Then uh, refit it and see how that works. How it looks like it's going to work. Looks pretty good. I'll do this other one. Tuck it into my channel. Okay. Uh, trim off the excess.
looks pretty good. Alright. Get my other one, other side done. Again, I'll trim off some of this excess. that into my juice channel. And this, you know, uh, this wicking, this is going to make or break your build. Uh, too much cotton and you'll get a lot of dry hits. Not enough cotton and it'll probably gurgle quite a bit. So... And really, um, there's no uh, set rule that that you can uh, determine uh, how much cotton you need to use. It's just something that uh, experience, you, you'll gain the knowledge that you need from just uh, practicing. And... Uh, So, I'll tuck this in. last juice channel done and it's a little bit long so I'm gonna pull this out so I can get to it with the scissors cut a little bit off of there Okay. I'll trim off a little bit of that. Tuck it back in the channel. 